<laughs> so good morning guys um i hope you're having a wonderful day uh good morning afternoon evening uh depending on where you're watching from Woo! welcome to the streets of cebu which are like super super noisy too many cars i am on my way to the ferry station because i am taking a ferry and then a bus to another destination different from Cebu not very far uh, the ferry is supposed to be just like a 45 minute ride and then um, the bus I, saw, I think is supposed to be like one hour actually I have to take two buses uh, the first bus is supposed to be like an hour long and then the second bus is uh, I forgot to check the information online, but I forgot. So anyway, welcome to the vlog. I am just walking the streets. Um, the ferry pier is supposed to be uh, 27 minutes from the hostel that I was staying in. So that's where I'm headed. I think I have to cross the street from here because this looks like a dangerous corner. So yeah, so I, I'll talk to you guys when I get to the ferry. And then I'll show you um, if I see anything interesting. So now let me pay attention as I cross the road. I don't want to get into any accidents or anything of the sort. Imagine getting into an accident in a foreign country. Yo! <laughs> so I'll talk to you guys when I get to the ferry. Uh, I look like a true backpacker because I have a backpack. This time around I don't have my suitcase. Uh, my, is it a suitcase or a bag case? <laughs> because you can pull it like a suitcase but at the same time it's still a bag. So I'll, I will, uh, I left it in the hostel. Those guys are so nice. They let me keep, keep my bag there for as long as I'll be in the hall. I'll pick it up when I come back. And also they let me borrow a novel. Oh, green light, green light, let's close. Okay. There is no walking path on this side. Let's cross to the other side. And it's hot, hot. Sunny and hot. Ah, jeepney. That is a jeepney. So, guys, I have a genuine question. <laughs> if it's a green light and there's cars turning around the corner, just like what happened there, who is supposed to give who priority to cross the road? Is it the pedestrians that are supposed to give priority to the cars or is it the cars that are supposed to give priority to the pedestrians? Because I feel like pedestrians should have the first priorities. The cars can wait. But that guy didn't even give didn't even give way. He was just trying to drive the same time I'm crossing, okay? So annoying. <laughs> so so annoying. But anyway, we moved regardless. So there's nothing interesting, it's just the streets. Uh, I will talk to you guys when I get to the pier. Maybe there will be any, something interesting and then I'll show you the process of getting uh, tickets and everything and the schedule for the bus. So I'll talk to you guys in, uh, in the pier. Bye. So right in front of me there is a Cebu Heritage uh, Monument. I was here the first the first uh, day that I was in Cebu. I came here to visit, but I didn't make a video because I don't know if you guys would find such such things interesting. So I didn't make a video, but today I decided to pass by here and make a video since it's on the way to the to the ferry anyway. So let me go in and show you what it looks like I don't
don't know let me know in the comment sections if you guys find this kind of information this kind of things interesting so <clears throat> some information about it uh no it doesn't say there's something i should also oh, okay here yeah. uh, the pride unity cultural race no, 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 no. dawn of european colonization heroic saga of events uh, the contribution should rightly be noted right and so in short it says this a monument is to honor the people who fought uh, for Cebu during the invasion by the Europeans. So, it is the monument. We have like the local uh, Cebu, Ceburians, Cebuians, Cebu citizens. <laughs> what do you call the people from Cebu? So, we have them on this side with the spears and uh, machetes and shields this side is the local Cebu fighters I don't know what to call the people from Cebu well, let me just call them Filipino so this side is them and then this other side we have the colonizer with his religion Uh, he has uh he's bringing religion here because he has a rosary on his neck as you can see his hands are up like in prayer or preaching to other people and then up there there's a big big huge cross uh on a boat and uh, there's one sitting down there with, a, with like a flag so there's a huge cross there so i think it symbolizes the colonizer which who are the spaniards before the americans came so 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 the philippines so the philippines was colonized twice that is actually something interesting about this place. it was colonized twice okay eh? it's not focusing it's not focus okay so the philippines was colonized twice the first time by the spanish the second time by the americans and it's a very interesting place because there's a mix of both cultures. You can see actually a mix of three cultures, the Spanish culture, the American culture, and um, the Filipino culture. So for the American culture, these guys eat a lot of hot dogs. <laughs> hot dogs for breakfast, hot dogs, hot dogs, hot dogs every day. I think I've had a hot dog every day since I got here. And then the Spanish, the names and some of the foods and the architecture, there's a lot of that influence from the Spanish. This hand is tired. <laughs> that's holding the cover and then the filipino culture obviously they're filipinos so they must have their own culture so that's something very interesting about the philippines uh three three in one <laughs> three in one everybody has like a, a spanish name rodriguez uh, in fernando all these spanish sounding names so yeah so that is a statue yeah there uh let me continue showing you the statue and then we'll head over to we'll head over to the pier I was checking if my mic is on because sometimes I forget to switch on the mic and then I'm talking, talking, talking and then the sound is so bad and I have to uh, do away with that video. So I was just making sure that the mic is on, but it's on. So let's continue with the tour of the monument. Let me flip around. The so here we have, uh, uh, I'm not sure. And they don't give any information here. I think this place they should have like some information of what this is about. But I I'm not sure who these are. Wait a minute. I went to San Fernando Forts, San Pedro Forts, and I remember seeing the picture of that baby there. And the guy told me something about it, but I forgot. So this what was the story behind it i forgot i forgot the story behind it but i'll check and then i'll give you guys the information because she told me but i forgot so yeah i think these are other people bringing their own culture can you see the churches over there with the with the with the cross on them and then over there we have like a spanish uh european architecture kind of thing which they brought here 
um, with the church. So this, I think, depicts the way the colonizer came and brought uh, religion to here because most of the people here are uh, Catholics. The main religion here is Catholicism, Catholic, Christianity. Another guy with the Bible. Maybe this is not the best angle. There, can you see? Um, uh, the camera is against the light. So he brought his Bible. He has a Bible in one hand and the cross in another hand. In the other hand, and then here it's against the sun so i don't know if you can see and there's someone here i'm not sure what it's about i wish they had information that i could read and tell you guys what it means there you go and we have let me move back so i can show you very well and uh yeah, I'm not sure what these things symbolize, but the first one at the entrance was very clear. But the others, I'm not sure what they mean. It would be nice if you got like actual information of what it means. Yeah, let me see if there's any information here. Ah, there used to be information, <laughs> but now. Mm, Oh, it, it doesn't even give information about the place, it just gives information about who built it. Oh, it's just information about who built it. It doesn't give information about the what the monument actually means. Oh, yeah, but it's wow. an interesting place. No, thank you. Oh. No, no, thank you. Yeah. yeah. So that's a tour of the moon. No, no, thank you. That's a tour of the monument. So people come here to take photos. I guess at night it's very beautiful because they have lights. So I guess at night the light, this lights illuminate the place. So it should be very beautiful. It should be very beautiful at night. So yeah, that's a tour of the monument. And uh, let me know if you guys like like history and stuff like that because I I really love such stuff. I love history. So I do go to a lot of historical places, museums, uh, and places like historical monuments. I went to the San, San Pedro Fort, which is like Fort Jesus back home. Uh, I went there the other day, but I didn't film there because I didn't know if you guys would like to watch such content. So let me know if you enjoy such content and I'll film more of that. So now let's head to the pier. And if I see anything else interesting along the way, I'll show you. If not, then I'll see you guys at the pier. So let's go. Uh, I actually have to stop the vlog because uh, I'm using my phone and uh, check directions. Check directions to the pier. Um, <laughs> crossing the roads here is an extreme spot. So check for directions because I changed the route. I changed the route. Uh, to go to the ferry station because I wanted to show you guys the I'm saying I wanted to show you guys the monument so I changed the route so let me switch off the, car, the stop recording so I can check for directions and then I will see you guys in the in the pier at the pier oh this looks stupa is it, that is it what they're called stupas yeah so there is traffic lights here and they show that I'm supposed to cross here and it's my turn to cross. Can you see? But there is no clear indication on where I should be crossing the streets from. That looks nice. Some umbrellas hanging uh, from the road. Okay, so see you guys in a bit. Let me check. Uh, for directions this is nice it says Cebu City can you see Cebu City I love you <laughs> Cebu City I love you <laughs> that's what it says I uh, actually I was at this place the first day that I went to that uh, heritage monument that I show you that I showed you, that I just showed you. I also came to this place. 
So this place is a uh, uh, what's it called? Mm, San Pedro, Fort San Pedro. I came here. Uh, it shows the history of uh, how the first uh, Spaniards landed in uh, in Cebu. They fought. They built. They built similar to for Jesus and stuff. Uh, I went there the first day I was here, but I, like I said, I didn't record because I didn't know if you guys are interested in such um, stuff. But it was a nice li little tour. It's like 15 minutes long. It's not that big. It's a small uh, port. Fort. <laughs> I'm going to the port soon. <laughs> My mind is just ports. Uh, or I'm turning to be a Filipino. Actually, in Philippines, they don't say. They say. So they say Filipino. We say Filipino. They say Filipino. So maybe I'm turning into a Filipino instead of saying port. I say port. <laughs> so. Uh, I, I, you need to pay an entrance fee to go inside, uh, which I'm not going to pay again, but I'll just show you like from the outside what it looks like. And then, yeah, let's see. So that's the entrance. Um, I'll just go show you like a quick round tour. I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm not going to pay again the entrance fee again, and also I am heading to the ferry and I haven't booked a ticket because I'm not sure about the ferry ticket information. So I need to go there and ask and find out when I can get the ferry to my next destination. And um, um, the information I saw online said that their ferry leaves hourly but that's the same online information that i got the other time that was wrong remember when i wanted to go to puerto princesa and i got wrong information and i couldn't get the ferry to there so i'm not <laughs> i don't really trust it so i will just have to go there early enough to find out like correct information uh, it's now let me see what's the time it's now two o'clock two or two so i have enough time to go check it out so let's see that's the wall the whole place i've been walking is the wall oh, no no thank you no thank you no thank you water i have water Fort San Pedro, that is what it says at the entrance, and then it says here Fort San Pedro. Yeah, there, and it goes all the way around. There's a lot of people today. This information also talks about the building instead of uh, what the fort is about. So I think it's a guided tour because I can see it's a bunch of Chinese tourists. I can see the guy explaining to them. So yeah, let me do a quick round. Uh, no, I won't go down. I won't go around the whole place. It's big. I have to go find the ferry. So let me let me know if you guys are interested in that stuff because I thought of recording it, but then I was like, I don't want to uh, make videos that maybe will have zero views uh, because uh, vlogging is fun. I won't lie, it's fun. I'm enjoying it, but editing is that's where the work is. Editing is a lot of work. So if you put in that much effort and then there's not views <laughs> it can get a little bit uh discouraging so i would like to know like what content you guys enjoy see that's the wall behind me and that's the what what are they called the places where you can want and that's it let me walk you to the end and there's a monument there 
So let me know what you con what content, what kind of content you guys enjoy. Then I will know what to uh, record and what not to record. Uh, because my my video that has done so well uh, so far is the sex hotel video that I did after my second deportation uh, in Hong Kong. That did so well. So maybe here there's a oh, crazy there. There's a monument there. And there's a stopper there. Over there. Where? Oh, over there. <laughs> so that did so well. Uh, so central post office. There's kids playing basketball outside the post office. I was, as I was saying, did quite well. So I know you guys like that kind of content. But I'm not sure about the history content. So let me know. And then I will be sure to, to record uh, such videos when I go to such places because I love history, I love history, uh, I love going to historical places. I went to in Chamuros in, um, in Manila as well, which is also a historical place in Manila, but I didn't record either. So let me know. Okay, I'll see you guys at the pier. I'm very close to the pier. I can even feel the breeze from the ocean from here. So let me again switch off the video so I can find directions because I keep, I keep taking detours to show you guys more places so i'll see you at the pier or elsewhere if i see anything else that's interesting bye so in the pla same place as the uh, san pedro fort there's also the cebu veterans memorial which i actually didn't see the last time i was here so there's like that monument honoring the veterans of cebu i think so um that is what it looks like from the back so there's a monument <laughs> against the light. There's a monument of, uh, uh, I think, Andres Bonafacio, who's like uh, one of the freedom fighters for the Philippines. So oh, it's over there. I can see it. It's over there. So let's go see that. And then I'll head to the port. <laughs> I, keep, I kept saying... Or I keep saying, I'm going to the port, I'm going to the port, I'm going to the port. But I keep finding out um, new information. Actually, I saw that on Google Maps. <laughs> when I'm looking for, info, for directions to the port, I saw that there's a monument for Bonafacio here. So, let's see the monument. Hello. And then, what? Give, me a, give you a shout out? Yes. Do you, are you, are you a vlogger? A vlogger, you're a vlogger. Yes. Yeah, uh, are no, you a vlogger too? No, no, no. So, give me a shout out where? Yeah. Uh, where are you from? from? I'm from Kenya. Kenya. I'm from the Philippines. Uh, Philippines nice also. to meet you. <laughs> Give me a shout. What's your name? Uh, my name is Mark Lee. Uh, uh, I'm available. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> how can they find you? If you're available, how can they find you? <laughs> uh, I remember his name. That guy says his name is Andrew and he's available. Available for what? I have no idea. <laughs> okay, anyway, so this is the monument of Andres Bonafacio, who I think is uh, one of the freedom fighters for the Philippines. Uh, there's, a, there's a place in uh, Manila that's named after him, like a whole city is called BGC Bonafacio uh, Global City. So he's an important person in the history of the Philippines. Um, there were some people who were very diplomatic during the fight for independence and there were some people who were radical i think he was one of the radical ones yeah oh he was one of the di di diplomatic ones i can't remember very well uh but i, I saw the story in uh, i i had the history in uh where where where, where? in manila i went to to in makati i went to oh sorry in makati i went to a museum that they told me the history. Cebu City, Queen of the South. They told me the history of the two most famous freedom fighters of the of the Philippines. Hey, but I forgot. It's too much information to take in <laughs> in one go. I forgot. But once I get uh, such information, and um, the seed of curiosity is planted in my mind. So when I have free time, I usually go and Google 
to get further information. So I will do that. I haven't done that. I haven't had time to Google, but I'll go and Google later. Yeah, and get more information. So here. There. And then today is Sunday. So, oh, too shaky. Too shaky. Today is Sunday. So there's a lot of people here just taking pictures, chilling with their families, spending time. As we should, what we all should do. So yeah, I'm heading out of the this whole area, San Pedro Fort area, and I'm going uh, to let's say together, I'm going to the pier <laughs> for the 100th time or one millionth time. I'm saying the same thing. So let's let's go to the pier. And then I will show you what it looks like, if there's any difference uh, with the pier in Manila. And uh, yeah, I'll give you information from there. So see you guys at the pier. Bye. So here we are. Say so thank you for visiting Cebu. So let's, let's find out some information now that we're here. Oh, I think there's different companies. Supercuts to go. Light berries, ticketing booth, passenger terminal. Yeah. Hey. So let's find out information here at the ticketing booth. <laughs> Let me ask. Ah, sorry. It says here Cebu or Tamis. Okay, so that's not the one. Let's see. Um, advanced booking only. I don't know. Let me just ask. Hello. Uh, to is there a ferry to Bohol from here? No, I haven't bought the ticket yet. I haven't bought. I want to buy a ticket. Yeah. Excuse me. Sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay. Five. At five twenty. Last one. Three twenty. Three twenty, not. <laughs> I saw this five. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Hello. Um, can I get it? But what's the name of the party? Oh. oh, okay, okay. Tourist class, open air yeah, business class. Uh, yeah, yeah, the prices. So open air. Yeah. Tourist class, what's the difference between tourist class and the tourist class? Has okay, then I want that one. Uh, okay, let me get my passport. My passport is so far. <laughs> let me open. I don't have an ID. Oh, okay. Let me let me stop recording. Okay, so let me start recording. I need to show my my passports. Almost two hours. Okay. Here's a ticket. Sorry. And that's the schedule. Just if you guys are here next time, you have uh, better information than I did. So let's go to the passenger. Terminal, no, thank you. Water, entrance. No, I have I have okay. some water. Okay, that's the entrance. And the passenger tunnel one is over there. Uh, so let's see. Uh, passenger 
terminal one. That's what the place looks like. A lot of guards at the gate. <laughs> He's waving at me. So I think it's very secure. Oh, that's an interesting building. It has like a boat. Can you see? It has like a boat thingy on it. Okay. So, do I like to have all the information clear before I go do my own things? So let's find out about the check-in and all that those are things before I go to do my own things. I think that's a ferry or we're going to be taking a similar one. Yeah. So it's entrance. Hello. Oh, do I have a mask? No. Dad, I don't think I don't know if I have a mask. How much is a mask? Five five pesos? Yeah, I don't think I have one. <laughs> uh, let me get a mask. Oh, I have five pesos somewhere. I uh, know. <sighs> it's hot, hot. I'm sweating. I have to get five pieces. I don't. I don't have five pieces. I have fifty. Thank you, guys. I told you some places are enforcing masks. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So, so now I look like a ninja <laughs> with my mask on. So I got a tourist class ticket. There's a tourist class uh, ticket. There's an open air ticket. I got a tourist class ticket uh, because oh, terminal fee. I keep forgetting about this thing. I paid one uh, in Manila too. So this one is twenty five. Twenty five pesos for the terminal fee. Let's see. Okay. So I was saying there was there's different oh, I'll tell you when it's quiet. A little bit noisy here. <laughs> Twenty five, right? Okay, thank you. Pink tickets. Is the terminal fee? Let's to buy your snacks. A waiting room. Thank you. Waiting room. And then we go E. A security check. I think I'm not allowed to film here, but I'm not sure. Let me see. The things that are not allowed to run. Uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so friendly. Over here, so friendly. <laughs> Hello. Where are you from? I'm from Kenya. Kenya. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome to the hall. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, 
This is ancient fast ferries, it's not to go. To go is the one that I came with from Manila. Hey, I'm struggling, I have to carry my bag properly. So, Excuse me, check in. Check in? Oh, sorry. I need to check in over there. It's just like you would at an airport. So am I going to get a boarding pass? Check in. Hello. <laughs> what does this mean? A what? Oh, it's Korean? Yeah, Korean. What, what does it mean? Love. Love. Oh, okay. It's, it's February. It's a month of love. Yes. <laughs> Valentine's. Yeah. Love. It means love. So I love you guys. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to Cebu. Cebu? No, Cebu. Uh, Boho. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Boho. Still so confusing the names. Your first time? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. So that's what it looks like. He says Happy New Year in February. Where are you from? I'm from Kenya. Yeah? Kenya. Kenya. You know Kenya? Yeah. Kenya. <laughs> yeah, I feel like Kenya. <laughs> this should be our passport. All of us have one of this. Yeah, so I'm waiting for check-in. It's two, two hours, right? Okay. So the whole process is two hours. The whole cruise. Thank you. Gate eight. Okay, thank you. Salamat. Have a good day. So I checked in. They took the they took the terminal fee tickets and they gave me another one. That has the seat number. Okay. Gate number eight. Okay, thank you. So this one has the gate number. And the seat number. Uh, so, gate number eight. There it is. So, I'll just sit here. Uh, there are less people here. So, uh, but let me give you a tour of this place first. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to go because there's business class. I didn't get business class. The, the other one I got, first class, it was disappointing. So, this time tourist class and also try something new and also save money pro tip always try to save money pro tip information desk uh, there's more boarding gates gate okay, five and six gate okay, three and four the souvenirs island souvenirs yeah it's just a uh, Waiting, nothing much. Just a place to wait, and you can see the ocean from here. So there's not much. There's an upstairs. Oh, I think the upstairs is a business class. <laughs> if you buy a business class ticket, then you wait up there. Now for us commoners. <laughs> we wait down here. Oh, this is interesting. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> in Swahili, the father of who? Bye bye in Swahili means father of someone. Like if you want to say Susan's father, you say bye bye Susan. Or in short, bye bye Susan. <clears throat> so I'll have to wait here. I'm gonna find a seat. And wait for my body time which is i don't know i will check hey this bag is heavy it's heavy 
So the bag is so heavy and I only brought clothes for four days and it's like super heavy so this is why I don't like those backpacking bags because they are super super heavy super super uncomfortable so let me check my ticket date time or buying ticket number seat number the person who served me and time 320 so I'm not sure if 320 is the boarding time or the time that you're departing but since I'm at the gate they will tell you in the seat seat number it has a seat number too oh the um, terminal ticket is still here the ticket that I bought uh, for the ferry terminal ticket and a new one with the boarding the boarding pass I think okay so I will see you guys in the ferry. I'll talk to you guys when you're boarding. If, or if there's anything interesting between now and then. Uh, if not, see you guys at boarding time. I hope you're enjoying the video so far. I hope you have some, you've gotten some information on how to navigate your way around here. Um, so the the, the the ticket is was 800 peso, which in Kenyan shillings should be something like 1,000 800 I'd say because one peso is around two point something Kenyan shillings so it should be 1,800 to 1,100 which in dollars should be something like 17 dollars 17 dollars around there yeah so that was for the tourist class for the body for the business class was 1,200 something uh, which is like 2,500 or more Kenyan shillings and for dollars it will be something like 23 dollars yeah around there so I don't know if you guys can hear me because it's actually very noisy in here as with any other waiting room so I'll talk to you guys in the, in the ferry and then we'll be cruising for two hours and then we'll take a bus and uh, we keep the journey going so talk to you later bye <laughs> So this one's arrivals. Uh, this ones are for the departures. And then I think they're out here waiting for the bats. Okay. Makes sense. So the port we're going to is called Tagbi Laran. Okay, my seat number is um is it? thirty B.
Mas agora eu fico com a gente, né? Uh, there's a lot of people going to uh, uh, This is what it looks like. A little bridge. Air con. So that to be A is a window set. B is an L. I got the L. Oh. Yeah. Then my bag is heavy, heavy, heavy. And it's such a small bag, imagine. If I had a big backpacker's bag. So <clears throat> that's what it looks like in here. Ocean jets. And yeah, maybe later. Uh, let me put my bag there first. Uh, lace life jackets. Yeah. Down here. So maybe later I'll show you guys the rest of the ferry when everybody starts working. But for now, uh, let me just chill and uh, be aware of my environment. I'll talk to you guys later. Um, yeah, I don't know if I have a second mix. If I don't, I'll be very happy because I can sit uh, the window seat. Yeah, but let's see how that goes. Um, I'll show you the rest because there's a... Uh, I'm not sure they would let me into business class, but there's a um, tourist class and there's an open air class. So the tourist class has aircon, that's why I booked this one. Uh, but I will try and walk around and see what they let me see. What they let me film. Hey, what's this? My God, <laughs> they let me film, and then I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. So I'm going to show you guys what business class looks like, and then the open air, and you guys can do your comparison. So <laughs> this is what business class looks like. Does this go to the open air? Yes. Okay, so I can go through it there for the open. Air. Thank you. So this is what business class looks like. It's not that big actually, it's small. It has a limited number of, uh, of seats and uh, there's a CCTV here, so it's safe. But it is like cold, 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 freezing cold. How, how do you open the door? <laughs> Just pull? Oh, the other side. Thank you. <laughs> okay, and this is the open air. You know what? Next time, I'm taking the open air. Mm, let me. Someone forgot something. Hello. Someone forgot something here. I'm not sure what it is. It's like a medical device or something. Oh, it's from the life jacket. Oh, it's from. Oh, I thought it's like a medical device or something. Okay, thank you. So this is the open air. Yes. Next time I'm taking this down there, it's so cold. <laughs> it's so cold, this is better. Thank you. So this is the open air one. Sorry, sorry. This is the open air one. And actually, oh, there's a view. Let's see. It even has a view. You're in the open air one. It's a nice view and it's raining heavily. Can you guys hear that water? Can you hear the sound? It's raining. Let me go down the stairs. It's raining heavily, so I'm wearing a sleeveless jacket. <laughs> this is where they get the, the luggage from. But I'm wearing a sleeveless jacket. No jacket, a sleeveless dress. Hello. So I was freezing down here. Next time, uh, I'm going to the open air one, or I'll bring uh, a sweater with me. So now we're disembarking, and it's raining heavily, heavily, guys. And look at me. Look what I'm wearing. A dress. Oh, the light on my on my mic is flashing. 
which means I'm low on Pachi. <laughs> Thank you. Salamat. It's raining. <laughs> So that's okay. That's okay with. Then I will go find um, find a means to the bus station, and then I'll take the bus to the area where my hostel will be. I haven't booked it yet. I'll book it when I'm near there, and then I'll talk to you guys when I get to the bus station. Because let me save battery on my. My it's flashing. And then I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. So, um, I, I think I last talked to you when I was uh, disembarking the ferry. Uh, and from the ferry, I had to get to uh, the bus station. It's too bright back there. I had to, have to get to the bus station. I don't know why I'm still wearing the mask and you already left the ferry. <laughs> I even forgot that I had it on. Because <laughs> this mask it has no purpose actually. Has no filtration, nothing. Can you see? Has no filtration, nothing. Just a semblance of wearing a mask. So anyway, I was uh, trying to get my uh, tuk-tuk or a trike uh, to the bus station. And I was standing there uh, using the app to to look for a tuk -tuk. and then this couple <laughs> they were trying to find um, transportation to their Airbnb too which is, was very close to the very close to the port uh, but uh, they asked like a local uh, guy how much he would charge them say 150 for each so that was 300 for two people the, 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 the wife I'm assuming the wife just started laughing <laughs> And I started laughing along with her because that, that was a, such a ridiculous price. So <laughs> I told her her reaction is, is funny. So we started laughing together. So we started talking. They're Canadian. They told me they're Canadian. And we started talking like uh, how how uh, tourists get get overcharged here. So I told them about this app where you can like the one that I was using to check for a trip. You can use it to check the prices and then you will know how to negotiate depending on the price on the, on the app because sometimes you really have no idea how to negotiate on the price. So we checked, I helped them check and it was 32, 32 <laughs> from, um, from 150 per person to 32. So anyway, we talked for a bit and then we decided to get one, one trike one that will drop them off at their place and then take me to the bus station uh so we just drop them off um and then i am heading off to the bus station to take a bus to um, the last destination <laughs> um to the final destination and um yeah uh, they, they say that they're going to come to that area where i'm going at tomorrow and then uh, we exchange our contacts and then we will meet up there and hang out and have a good time so see you guys uh, when i get to uh, to the bus station i uh, will show you if there's anything interesting to see i will show you and uh, yeah if not i will see you at the final destination <laughs> bye so i just got to the bus station uh and i found the bus that goes to alona it looks sort of like those uh, buses that transport people to the airport. So yeah. Um, me, me and me. I recorded, uh, I mean the bus and I recorded a video showing the bus and everything but I hadn't connected my receiver, my mic receiver to the phone because I was charging it using the power bank and I forgot to connect the receiver. So usually if the receiver is not on or the mic is not, I'm not using the mic, the audio is, is really really bad so I have to redo this again. So I was saying, 15% um, need to charge my phone. Yeah. So 
our thing uh, it's 6 feet 35 6 37 now um the tuk -tuk driver told me he could take me from um, from the port to my final destination for for 400 the 150 inclusive so which means which means that i needed to pay 251 i said no <laughs> i said maybe the bus uh station but maybe there won't be any buses to my final destination i said we'll take the chance just take me to the bus station uh well he said mm -hmm. so i checked the app that i'm using it's called maxim by the way it's a it's a really nice app it shows you like the best prices for here and then when you bag in you have somewhere to start from um so the app said 195 to my final destination but he was charging me 500 <laughs> 250 extra <laughs> it makes no sense so anyway now i'm in the bus let me show you what it looks like i'm in one of these little woods that's what it looks like there's a middle sitting here there's woods on that side and woods on this side and then in between they sit there that go all the way my bag my, my bag is in the news it's blocking the news and then that was that that's what the front part it sort of looks like those buses that transfer you in the airport the ones that do airport transfer it sort of looks like those so anyway i don't know if they wait for the bus to fill up before we leave because i saw here sometimes they leave before the bus is full but they are charge charge more so i don't know but that place is quite popular so they will fill up nicely and fast and then i will see you guys when i get to the bus stop that takes me to the final destination from there i'll need to take a trike or i can walk i don't feel like walking i'll take a trike um to my final destination and i'll see you guys from there uh yeah see you guys later uh let's talk when i get there Bye.